in a video I did a couple of days ago, I started talking a little bit about the Holy Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit, which are really important topics. So I thought I'd talk a little bit more about it today as well. Get your coffee. At a certain point in the Gospels, Jesus' disciples came to him and said, Lord, teach us to pray. And in response to their request, Jesus gives what is commonly referred to as the Lord's Prayer, or sometimes people refer to it as the Our Father Prayer. And it is both a good prayer and a good model for prayer. But that's not the only thing that Jesus says about prayer in response to his disciples' request. Jesus also teaches his disciples to be persistent in prayer, to ask, seek, and knock until the door that you are knocking on is opened by your Father in heaven. In our prayers and in our persistence in prayer, Jesus also teaches that we should expect that our Father in heaven is a good Father who gives good gifts to his children as they persistently ask, seek, and knock in prayer. And so in talking about this, Jesus says in Luke chapter 13, If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? If we know how to give good gifts, and I'm sure that many of you are probably the gift-giving type, those who really take great joy in giving gifts to your kids or to those that you love. I know my wife is one of those gift-giving people. But if you know how to give good gifts, how much more does your Heavenly Father in Heaven know how to give good gifts to the one who asks? So at the beginning of this week, I started by speaking a little bit about the fruit of the Spirit in the life of the Christian. And the presence of the Spirit in my life and the evidence of his presence in the form of what is called the fruit of the Spirit is the very thing that God desires would abound in my life. Let me put it another way. God wants your life to be fruitful. He wants you and I to bear much fruit, the scriptures say. So he wants my life and your life to be abounding in those things that Paul talks about in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23, as the evidence of the presence of God's Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, which are these things. Love. God wants your life to be abounding with love, a love for God, a love for one another, and, and even a love for your enemies, which I would say is one of the things that, that we need a lot in our culture right now. So he wants us to be abounding in love, and he wants our lives to be abundant in joy, delight, and gladness, and intense happiness, which we live in a culture and in a country that is, you know, one of the founding principles is the idea of the pursuit of happiness. Well, God wants something even greater than that in your life. He wants you to be abounding in joy and abounding in peace, total human thriving, continuous rest. And he wants us to be abounding in patience, which sometimes we lack in a big way. And this is a patience by his spirit and kindness and goodness and faithfulness, gentleness, and also self-control. It's God's desire that these things would be in you and that they would abound in you. And this is produced in us by his presence, by his spirit. And so this is why Jesus says, or one of the reasons that Jesus says in that passage, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. So here's the thing. If today you are lacking in love, joy, patience, kindness, peace, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, you're not going to find those things on Amazon. You are not going to get those from Congress or from the White House. They were not in the relief package. You are not going to find them from your spouse or from your kids. Apple does not have an app for that, and Google will not be able to find it. And if you're going to go onto Facebook and Amazon, you're probably going to get the exact opposite 
of patience and kindness and gentleness and self-control. But if you are lacking in these things, love, joy, peace, kindness, and so forth, ask. Father God, please give me your spirit. Give me his power. Produce in me his patience and his peace and his love and make it evident to me and make it evident to all those who are around me. Ask, seek, knock, and keep doing so because the promise is your father who sees in secret will reward you openly because he is a good father. I hope that you will think about this. I hope that you will pray about it as well. And just a little heads up before I go today. There won't be a video tomorrow for Friday. I have a lot of things on my plate this week and going into the next week. A lot of stuff for my kids' school, for my school, and as we prepare for Palm Sunday and Resurrection Sunday in just a couple of weeks. But before we go, please subscribe, like, and share these videos if they've been a blessing to you. And check out my series that I'm doing on this book if you just go to pastormiles.com jp. And we will see you next week. See you next time.